There was a child went forth every day, and the first object he looked upon, that object he became. And that object became part of him for the day, or a certain part of the day, before many years, with stretching cycles of years. At first he was alone, only his parents and he. He played in his room, quiet and content. One day, his parents claimed they had a surprise. A new family member would soon be part of his life. And as he held this new family member in his arms for the first time, and as she looked into his eyes, he realized that he was no longer alone. This new addition to the family, she too, became a part of this child. As a child, a complete family he once had. A mom who taught, a father who provided, and a little sister who loved. His mother loved kids. At school, she taught them all day, and then came home to take care of two more. His father was a businessman, a lawyer by trade, and loved his children more than any other father could. He had a happy family, and they too became a part of this child. One day, his once happy family was no more. His own parents, who had loved and cared for him, had taken it away. They claimed they no longer loved each other, but at such a young age, he could not understand. They were separated, and life was hard on this child. He was mad at the world, that he no longer holds a grudge. A new mother figure came into his life, and she too, like his own mother and father, cared for him like her own child. His parents' separation and this new mother figure became a part of this child. Elementary school was a time of great joy for this child. At school, he laughed and played with friends. At home, he enjoyed time with his sister at either house he was at. He lived a carefree life with no responsibilities and lots of friends. Life was good. As elementary school came to pass, playtime, friends, and having no responsibilities became a part of this child. Middle school, as it is the case for many other children, had its ups and downs. He started a new school, which was hard at first. Making new friends while de dealing with new responsibilities was difficult. He adjusted, and once again, he was happy. As middle school progressed, this child experienced amazing things during this time. His father remarried, and as time passed, two new siblings were eventually brought into his life. These new friends, new responsibilities, and new siblings all became part of this child. As middle school passed, the child was greeted by high school, a scary time in many kids' lives. Once again, he started a new school and had to make new friends all over again. But this time around, it was much harder. High school started out as, difficult, as a difficult time for the child. He didn't have many friends and was looked upon as a loner. But as us usual, he adjusted and made new friends. Between family, friends, and schoolwork, life became hard for the child, but he was still happy. But as he matured, schoolwork increased, life got more difficult, and he became less and less happy. But he eventually found solace in his religion. He found something in his life that had true meaning. During his time in this religious group, he strengthened bonds with old friends and made new ones as well. And once again, he was happy. These new friends, his religion, and the changes in his life all became part of this child. This child was very fortunate. He had a good life. But other people around the world were not as fortunate as he. From bombings to shootings to, to genocides all around the world, throughout his life, this child began to realize that the world was not a perfect place. He realized that it was filled with those who are driven by evil and do the wrong things. But this child also realized that there are those who are good, and he was one of them. He realized that while the world was an imperfect place, he could always try to make it better. This realization that took him 17 years to reach became a part of this child. These became part of that child who went forth every day, and who now goes, and will always go forth every day.